What's going on? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. I talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel, mostly uh, fragrances. But if you're into fragrances, if you're into uh, also getting some style tips, uh, in all at the end of the day, uh, how you can look and smell your best each and every day, then subscribe to this channel. Uh, and make sure you don't forget to hit that bell icon as well to ensure when I upload new content on YouTube, you get notified. So on today's video, I am going to be talking about the top 10 fragrances in my collection, in my opinion, of course, from the brand of Armoff. Now, if you don't know much about this particular brand, it's a Middle Eastern. It is based out of the Middle East, and they pretty much make dupes or clones, whatever word you want to utilize uh, for it, of more popular designer or niche fragrances. Now, some of their fragrances are actually a blend of several different, <laughs> different fragrances, but ultimately, most of them gain their inspiration from another more popular designer or niche fragrance. The reason I decided to do this video is because number one, Armop is a very popular uh, brand. Um, anytime you can spend, you know, sometimes a fifth or a fourth of the money and get a fragrance that smells very similar uh, to a very expensive fragrance, then a lot of people have interest in that. Now the thing about Armop is there are so many fragrances in their portfolio that I think is really good to have a more comprehensive list like this where you can just kind of go and take a look at it and make your decision from that. So that's where the, the idea came from. I drew the inspiration from that. So if you want to see what I feel are the top 10 fragrances, at least in my collection, in my opinion, from the House of Armagh, and you know the routine, keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump into the list. Now, I want to do a quick honorable mention. I do have this fragrance. I don't have it here with me at the moment. It's upstairs. But a quick honorable mention goes to Club de Nuit Intense Woman. Now, this fragrance um, is marketed towards women, but it is a clone of Noir de Noir from the House of Tom Ford. And I think it's really, really well done. Ultimately, I did not want to have the list inundated with just fragrances from the Club de Nuit line, although they have some of the best from the brand, in my humble opinion. I just wanted to throw that one in as an honorable mention. So, again, from the Club de Nuit line, it was marketed towards women. It's called Club de Nuit Intense Woman. All right, guys, so coming in at the 10th spot, this fragrance is called Marjan Silver. Marjan Silver. Now, this fragrance is said to resemble uh, Blue de Chanel from the House of Chanel. Now, I kind of agree with that, uh, with that analysis of this fragrance. To me, something about it kind of gives me Green Iris Tweed uh, from Creed vibes as well. But I would say more Blue de Chanel. I can see where they're coming from with that, but. You get some grapefruit in here, some lemon. Mmm, it's really good. Get some sandalwood, some musk, some cedar wood. Again, very reminiscent of Blue de Chanel um, from the House of Chanel, obviously. But this one is really, really well done. I haven't heard as many people talk about this particular uh, line from Armoff. I think there's maybe two or three others from the Marjan line. But this one is really good, man. It's, again, it smells very, very close to uh, Blue de Chanel. So check that one out. Again, it's called Marjan Silver. It's really good. All right, guys. Now coming in and the ninth spot, this one is called Beau Acute. Now this is a very, very uh, different bottle. But, you know, our moth is not, I would say they have some very, very unique looking bottles overall. Um, you're going to see some others on this list that's very unique. But this one is said to smell or resemble Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. And I can definitely see where they're coming from with that. I think this one may be a little bit fresher than uh, Fierce. But you think about Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, you think about Mont Blanc Legend, 
Percival from Parfums and Marley. You know, those fragrances that have that kind of scent DNA is what you're gonna get with this one. And again, of all of the different fragrances that they have to offer from Armoth, I would definitely put this one in my top 10 in the ninth spot. Really, really good. If you like those fragrances that I talked about, you would probably enjoy this one as well. This one is called Bow Acute. All right, now the next fragrance coming in at the eighth spot, this one is called Bois Nuit from Armoth. Bois Nuit. Now this one smells very reminiscent to a fragrance like uh, One Million from Paco Urban. I love this one. Yeah, that's what you get, man. You definitely get those One Million vibes from this fragrance. Kind of sweet, a little bit playful. You know, I love the that Tonka Bean Vanilla dry down on this fragrance. It's amazing. Oh man, this is so good. So if you like One Million, then this is the one I think, because there's several others that kind of lend or hint at this DNA as well. Of the ones I put my nose on, this is the best that kind of goes after that One Million DNA. Again, this one is called Bois Nui. Definitely check that one out. All right guys, now coming in at the seventh spot, this one is called Odyssey Ohm. Odyssey Ohm, definitely another funky bottle. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, a thermos uh, of some time, of some kind, canteen maybe. Um, but this one is a sweet, uh, kind of vanillic, uh, vanilla amber fragrance. Yeah, definitely sweet and ambery. So it, it, it kind of reminds me of two different fragrances, I would say. The amber and kind of the vanilla, the more sweeter tones of this remind me somewhat of Tom Ford's Noir Extreme, I will say that. But then the spices in here kind of are reminiscent to like a Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. So if you kind of could imagine those two fragrances kind of rolled up into one, uh, that's what you get uh, with this one. But definitely one, uh, definitely one, I would say that's, uh, is good enough to be on a top 10 list. Because again, it kind of hints at both of those fragrances. And you guys that have been following me know how much I love uh, Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. So the seventh spot goes to this one, and it's called Odyssey Ohm. This fragrance is a pretty much an all-out clone of uh, Pegasus from the house of Parfums de Marley, and this one is called Armoth Craze. Now, this is another one where I was talking about those kind of funky bottles. I don't, I'm not sure what this is. It's kind of a something that's kind of reminiscent of a leather. Uh, strap or something like that going around uh, the bottle but the fragrance itself man is really good uh, like I said this one is very very close as a matter of fact these top six are up here because these top six are really they did a really good job of cloning the original yeah this is Pegasus man so you <clears throat> you kind of get that powderiness uh, you get that sweet vanilla so it's like a powdery iris vanilla with a little creaminess on the dry down Again, very reminiscent to uh, Pegasus. Of these top six, all of them are at least 90% similar to the original. This is really good, man. I sold this a while back, a long time ago, and I actually got it back in my collection. Really, really well done. Again, smells like Pegasus from Parfums de Marley. This one is called Craze. All right, and going coming in at the uh, fifth spot, uh, this is one that was one of their earlier hits. Uh, to me, Armoff started, started to become really popular around 2018, maybe 17, 18, somewhere around there. It started to get really gain some steam, at least from my um, remembrance of it. And this was one of the ones, again, that was very popular in the earlier stages of the brand. Um, and this one is called Trey Nui. Trey Nui. And you guys can see where my bottle is. I've used quite a bit of this. And of course, this one smells like Green Irish Tweed from Creed. And again, at least that 95 percentile, it captured Green Irish Tweed in the bottle. Obviously the kind of violet leaves feel for that greenness, you get that, that fresh cut grass uh, kind of profile. You get the powderiness that comes from Iris, that bright, uplifting, kind of sharp lemon, uh, verbena thing that you get from Green Irish Tweed as well. And there's a little bit of creaminess as well that you get from like sandalwood. This is great. Again, very close to Green Irish Tweed. If you didn't want to spend Green Irish uh, Tweed Creed money, 
this is a good one to get your hands on. It's from the house of Armoth, of course, in the fifth spot. This is called Trey Nui. All right, guys, now coming in at, uh, at the fourth spot, uh, we're about to go on a run, honestly, from the Club de Nui line, and this one is Club de Nui Siage. Club de Nui Siage. Now, this one is their take on Creed's Silver Mountain Water, which is a fragrance I love from the brand of Creed. And as I told you guys, they did a pretty good job of capturing it in this bottle. Now, this one is a little bit, a little bit, you get more, a little bit more of a fresh citrusy vibe from this one, not, not that metallic thing that you get from Creed. But other than that, this is Silver Mountain Water. Oh man, again, really good job of capturing the essence of the original fragrance. So if you didn't like the metallic thing from Silver Mountain Water, then maybe, you know, outside of just saving money, you can take a look at uh, Siage because again, this one is a little bit more fresher. It's got ginger in it, all right? It's got ginger, it's got more citrus uh, notes in it than the original, but it's still really, really close to it. Very well done. Just these top four are very well done. Uh, but again, this one is called Siage. All right, now coming in at the third spot, this one is actually called Milestone. This is called Milestone, and this was our moth's take on Creed's Millicent Imperial. And again, this is 95%, 96% close to the original. Man, you get that kind of, everybody talks about the watermelon kind of fruity opening of Millicent Imperial. You get that here. You get the saltiness, you get this the aquatic vibes and undertones. Again, the, the ambroxan kind of feel, ambergris kind of feel that you get from uh, the original. All that's here. All that's a home run. This is an absolute home run. And that's why it's in the third spot. Again, their take on Creed's Millicent Imperial. This one was called Milestone. All right, guys, now coming in at the number two spot, I talked about this here, uh, this fragrance very recently, and they cloned a very popular fragrance and they managed to do it as good as any other brand has done it. And this one is called Untold. And this is their take on Baccarat Rouge 540 from the house of Amazing Francis Kirk Don. Look, Baccarat is one of those fragrance DNAs that's been done by most companies. They've given their shot at it. And to me, this is the best one so far. Definitely top two off the top of my head that went after the Baccarat Rouge DNA. You get the saffron in here, you get this, the ambroxan, uh, ambergris kind of feel. You get fur, uh, fur resins in here as well to give this kind of sweet balsamic undertone to the fragrance. Again, 97% similar to the original Baccarat Rouge 540 for a fraction of the cost. And that's why it comes in at the number two spot. Again, this is Club de Nuit. And last but not least, coming in at the number one spot, this fragrance right here, I think is what mostly put this brand on the map. It is still their best fragrance to date, and this is Club de Nui Intense. Man, yes, this is the Creed of Intense clone. If you notice, the top two were clones of the probably top two most cloned fragrances in the entire world. Creed of Intense and Baccarat Rouge 540. And again, I still say to this date, to my nose, this is the best Creed Aventus clone on the market. And you can get it for $30. You need to say more? I mean, you get the, the pineapple feel in here. Uh, you get that smokiness that you get from the birch and all those great things that make Creed Aventus, Creed Aventus. You get it all here, in here. Now, of course, a little bit more synthetic. <laughs> but nonetheless, you get all of the elements from Creed Aventus in this fragrance. And it performs well at the end of the day. Performs well. It gets compliments, and those things are high on a lot of people's list of priorities. Excellent fragrance from the house of Armoff again in the number one spot. This is Club Man Nui, Intense Man. But that is it, guys. That is my time. Those are the 10 that I feel are, are at least for my collection, the top 10 from the house of Armoff. What are some other good ones out there? I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. Now, as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, 
Darren on the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.